If you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. If you would like access to more daily content from myself, please feel free to check out my Twitter feed and Telegram channel. Those links will also be in the description. Hey everyone, Poster here and today I'm going to do a quick video on my current thoughts on the market and where I think we could be heading next. I've seen huge contrasts in opinion on Twitter with some people saying that the bull run is over, others saying that we're still extremely early in the cycle. So I'm just going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart on a couple of different time frames and share my criteria on how I judge where we may be in the current cycle. I'm also going to cover what this may mean for alts, which I know many people are a lot more interested in. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to start by taking a look at the weekly time frame. And the reason for this is because I think when price action is relatively choppy on the lower time frames, people can easily lose vision of the bigger picture. So as we can see from the chart, without even drawing anything, any lines on there, you know, we are in an incredibly strong bull trend. And there are no real signs at this point of this breaking down. Um, still the same level as we mentioned in previous videos, um, I'm looking at here is this kind of 43k, 42k level where we were very close to a perfect retest of the previous highs. Um, and that still remains the most recent higher low from this market structure. And this is important because if we look at the daily time frame, there is no real reason for us to see a breakdown here and a retest of resistance. This level as resistance, you know, that would be incredibly bearish. And until we see that, I don't have any real reason to be bearish on the bigger picture. Um, so that's my key level there in terms of invalidation. Um, I think people are getting very caught up in current price action and getting very scared that the bull market might be over. It's just because we are so used to um, just up only over these last few months, right? You know, we've seen the market just keep going and going. We've seen Elon pump it. We've, we've just seen incredibly bullish action. So now that it's slowed down, people just presume that it's bearish without putting it into perspective. And if we look at the previous highs at around 58K, that level has just been completely chopped up over the last 10 days or so. You know, we've been up, down, we've been wicking above, below. And I think that just kind of scares people because it isn't what they're used to over these last few months. Um, however, if we actually take a trend line starting from the 29, 30K lows of January, we can see there that kind of, if we draw that out there, you know, we could still drop a little bit lower back towards these lows here at 53K. And it'd still look pretty healthy, right? When you actually zoom out, it looks really healthy. And what we may also be seeing right now is a lower time frame bull pen, where we've seen a big move up, a little bit of consolidation. Um, unfortunately, it was around the old highs, which made things a little bit scarier. But when you actually look at that, you know, it looks pretty healthy and we may see a little bit more sideways before continuing the trend upwards. Um, and if we actually move down to the four hour time frame, it looks even scarier. So you've got the chop of that old high with, you know, clean uh, four hour closes above, below, which for the lower time frame traders may, again, kind of frighten them. But in terms of this pennant, you know, we could easily see another week or so of just sideways, maybe even smaller amounts of volatility. And then we kind of, you know, look to continue this trend upwards. Um, but I do also want to take a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart and what this may mean for altcoins. OK, so I actually shared this chart on Twitter earlier today. And the reason for it is because we have seen another weekly close here below that kind of 61 to 62 percent level of dominance. And for me, although Bitcoin is struggling to reclaim that level, that is a really good sign for altcoins as it may give them some more room to run. Um, I'm looking at this short term um, level of support here at around 59, close to 60 percent where, you know, we found a bit of a, a floor. But if this level was to break and retest it as resistance, I would expect a move towards at least 55 percent, maybe even 50 percent, which would be 
you know, incredibly bullish for altcoins. And if we was to see some, you know, Bitcoin consolidation, a little bit of ranging, then it would be uh, a really good sign that this could potentially come to life. And I think for a lot of the altcoin holders out there, that would be exactly what they would like to see. Um, but further on to this, I think in line with that Bitcoin consolidation and range, and you know, the market has gone crazy over the last few months, even longer than that, you know, we've seen Bitcoin fly from 4,000 to 62,000 in the space of 12 months. So a little bit of sideways now and a little bit of time for the market to catch up probably isn't a bad thing. And if we were to see that, then it would be, you know, the prime alt season so far this year. So my views on things right now are pretty straightforward. I won't panic about a bear market until we see a clean close below 43k. I'm not actively trading much in these choppy conditions, so I'm just going to wait for some clear direction. Some sideways for Bitcoin would potentially be great news for altcoins, and Bitcoin dominance remaining below 62% is also good for alts. So yeah, no need to panic. We are bullish until proven bearish, and we will see where we are in a few weeks' time. But yeah, that's it for this one. A little quicker than my last few videos, but hopefully it was useful. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and let me know in the comments where you think we are in this cryptocurrency cycle. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.